in Meru County, PSV operators have taken it upon themselves to conduct crackdown on their vehicles for compliance with the government's COVID-19 prevention guidelines. In some cases, those who haven't complied found themselves on the receiving end of fines and other disciplinary measures. Here now is our reporter, George Maringa, with more. I am standing at a place called Mitheru Center that is about 49 kilometers from Meru Town. Here we found a special activity that is being carried out by one of the PSV uh, Matatu operators that is the Meru Nissan Sako. Now apart from the crackdown that is happening or rather the inspection that is happening at the uh, main terminals, the Meru Nissan Sako operators have decided or have taken it upon themselves to inspect their own vehicles. These uh, include or it involves a checking when whether the uh, vehicles have, uh, you know, the proper sanitizers in, uh, you know, they have, whether they are also following the regulations are stipulated, especially for the 14-seater Matatus, ensuring that the, uh, it's a maximum capacity of eight passengers just to ensure uh, the social distancing directive is followed. We have been able to speak to the vice chair of the Meru Nissan Sako, uh, who uh, is implementing uh, this uh, directive, or rather this uh, crackdown, a, a unique, uh, a unique uh, thing that is actually... Uh, the first to happen in the various uh, PSV Matatus that we uh, in, in operate uh, from uh, Meru, Maua, Meru to Nairobi. I want to tell every commuter, every Kenyan, every driver to buy a required sanitizer, not to mix water and jig, water and uh, dental. We need something that is conk that can kill the bacteria. And when arrive at the destination, we should also be able to disinfect the vehicles again 30 minutes before traveling again to ensure that uh, everybody is safe. Yeah. Earlier on, we saw you um, pour, inspect a vehicle and you actually even poured some liquid. I mean, whatever was being used as a sanitizer, you didn't pass it as what is required. So uh, what exactly, talk to us about that situation we saw you earlier on. You know, there was that uh, conductor who appeared not to be one dressed in proper uniform as well as the type of sanitizer that they were using. The liquid was not proper. Talk to us about that. Uh, why you show me pouring some uh, concussion? Let me call them concussion because somebody is meeting water and a bit of uh, data, which is not required because whatever you're supposed to have is 70% volume of alcohol. You can even smell it. Even when you wash your hands, you feel it smell. That is what we need. We, we're not doing this uh, for police. We are not doing it uh, uh, for fun. We are doing it because it is what is needed to save our lives. And when you see me displaying my conductor, Uniform is mandatory. Like if you see me, I'm uniformed in a uh, and attire. Uh, uh, this is what I'm supposed to wear when I'm on the road. So you should always adhere to the rules and the regulations that were put during the Mishoke rules. They must be in uniform at all times. So they can be able to differentiate with the passenger and with the conductor, with the driver. That's the essence of it. I'm emphasizing to other circles to also, also come out and do the crackdown that you are doing to ensure that our customers are safe when we install uh, no fear with them because uh, uh, they are not able to access the products that we can access, uh, like the quality of uh, sanitizer that are required for them to travel with. It is our responsibility as the investors to provide these to our commuters to install they are not failing using the matatus. Yes. In a day, I'm, I'm inspecting around 120 vehicles because we come as early as 6 and we leave the place at 6.30. Passengers also feel confident in this crackdown that is happening by the Meru Nissan Sako and they say it is a step in the right, dire in the right direction in trying to combat the COVID-19 disease. I'm um, travelling from Chuka to Meru. Uh, when you talk about these terms of uh, hygiene, uh, from the stages, sometimes it is not uh, the way it should be. But with such inspections on the way, the circles are inspecting their cars to uh, get the, to know if the sanit sanitization is being done on uh, the right way. So uh, according to me, if, uh, these are stations, eh, they, they stop of us for the inspection, if they are more and more. You know, we are not having these sanitizers because of the police officers on the road or because of anything, but we are doing it because of our own safety so that we can be safe, so that we can feel safe. So when sometimes we see ignorance at the stages and uh, such things with just mixing soap and water, you, you know it doesn't feel okay. You don't feel safe. But when we, we, we are traveling and we find these stations, you're stopped, you're sanitized again, the sanitizers that the drivers are using are being checked. Eh? 
we feel okay, we feel comfortable, we feel that uh, even the circles are doing something good so that they can uh, maybe effect these uh, uh, maybe directly <coughs> from the ministry and from the government. Later, Jacqueline, I'm going to go to Mororri, I'm going to go to Meruton. I'm going to go to Garis, I'm going to go to Sawa, 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 I'm going to go to Sawa. Na kuhusu sanitization na kuna mikono ama uh, uh, matumizi ya sanitizer? Yo, inaimarisha afya ya watu na ni vizuri kwa sababu ndio wenye waogi mikono sasa wamejoa muhimu wa kuoga mikono. So nyinyi kama abiria sasa hivi vile mlitoka kule ama vile mmefika hapa mmesanitizewa, mmenaisho mikono? Eh, mimi nimeoga hivi mara ya tano. This is a crackdown that has been happening uh, from Sunday and the operators say they will continue until uh, this uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, ceases in as much as they try to ensure the safety of the drivers, the conductors as well as the passengers. This being one of the measures by one of the PSV Matatus in ensuring that everyone is safe. My name is George Maringa in Meru County, handing back to you in studio. All right, many thanks, Judge Maringa. Let's move on. As